Okay, Sam Walton, Made in America uh, by Sam Walton. This is the story of the founder of Walmart. And it was written in 1992. It's an older book, so I, I don't know how many people still read this book to this day, but I, I did. Um, I love books like this, stories of how an individual builds some sort of empire, the lessons from having done that. I thought it was a great story. I don't think it was one of the best biographies from uh, tycoons that, that are out there, um, particularly because it was very narrow focused on the Walmart story, which maybe my expectations were incorrect in thinking it was kind of going to be more about a well-rounded perspective of his whole life. He wrote this book uh, when he was dying of bone cancer. I think it was in the last two years before it, he died. and. Um, so, to me, he gave an honest account of his life, I, th I think, as best he could. He also gave, um, which I thought was a unique way to do it in the book, he had colleagues of his or, or family members or anybody that knew him, other relationships, also provide quotes throughout the book about him and experiences they've had with him and uh, tell stories from somebody's perspective that wasn't his, probably in an attempt to be unbiased towards his life story. Uh, I th think that it was a great book. I would recommend it. It was an easy read. It was uh, a little bit of a longer read. It um, is about 300 and something pages and the text is pretty small. So if you're not interested in a subject like this, you might find it difficult to read a book like this. But it gives great pictures from his childhood all the way up. It covers every area of his life. I mean, uh, in terms of wisdom from like lessons and leadership and all, somewhat. But it's more about Walmart and how it grew and the challenges that Walmart experienced it. Uh, experienced uh, growing and, and going public and hiring executives and the you know down to the truck driver systems they put in place there's a whole chapter on technology and distribution centers for Walmart so it's not so much his personal well it is his personal story but it's also pretty narrow focused on Walmart's growth um, but he does touch on his childhood. His, uh, he has a fierce passion for competing, which he credits for his success because he just loves competing and winning. Uh, but he also seems to be a self-described very gracious winner. He, he passes everything down. He allowed his employees, which at the time was uh, innovative, for, to be participating in profit sharing in his company. So they made a lot of money as well as the company did better, they did better. So it gave his employees incentive to not steal and um, take care of the Walmart brand. I mean, you know, and also his battles with Kmart and uh, going into other stores, which I loved with a tape recorder and studying the competition, getting their pricing, recording it. He actually got caught one time by a worker in, I believe it was Kmart, and the, the guy wanted to take his tape recorder. So he, he said, well, you caught me, and he gives him the recorder, but then he writes the letter a letter to the CEO who's his friend of Kmart and says, hey, I got caught in your store with my tape recorder and uh, I've got some other stuff on there. I will erase the parts about Kmart, but I've got some other stuff on there I'd like to keep if possible. And the guy you know, gave it back to him fully without anything erased. It's just a funny story of, of these tycoons interacting with each other. But, um, you know, one part I liked was uh, he, he gave his best attempt at being honest. I sensed, now I don't know if I'm wrong and I could be, some defensiveness in him when he was writing this book, almost like he had an, an, an incentive to write this book to um, set the record straight uh, in his mind to some of his, um, it, I don't want to say enemies, but uh, detractors maybe, because he, he was pretty defensive in um, questioning whether or not to himself it was worth, his success was worth all the time he spent in the company. Um, some of the run-ins that they had in the executive level, uh, hiring and then firing people in a certain manner, was that worth it? You know, and he was defending it and saying, yes, it was. And, you know, he, from a, I, I'm right, even though people told me I was wrong. And um, I don't know if maybe that was just me being a little biased towards the reader, if I was picking up on him. Like, I need to write this book because I got some things I, I want to say to the world about some things, you know? Or if he was just really solely intent on telling his story from his perspective. Um, that's for the reader to decide. You should get it and check it out yourself if you're kind of interested in, in that and in answering that. But 
uh, overall, it was a great history of Walmart. It uh, it talks about all the first five and dime stores all the way to the end. I mean, to to the '90s and Walmart's great success. I mean, he's richest man in the world. It's pretty interesting. So it really covers from from front to back his life. And uh, the 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 theme that I'm unconcerned with is with hard work and passion and competitiveness and a care for people. He seemed to really care about his people, and he he ultimately cared because he knew that the people would be key to his success, but he really cared about his employee. He really worked hard, and his employees, he really worked hard, and he took major risk. I mean, he had heavy debts, took major risks, uh, and so that's undeniable. I mean, he he was um, a go-getter, and that's something that I'm sure of after reading this book, but hey, I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I think it's in that category of some of the great business books. Um, again, pretty narrow focus compared to like The Ride of a Lifetime by Robert Iger, which I just loved. I don't know if it was maybe I caught it at a good time in my life or whatever, but I mean, he gave such a balanced, a little bit of life, some wisdom, some Disney, some, you know, I love books that are well balanced from these leaders. This one was more Walmart focused. Um, that's my only complaint, but I mean, I loved it. I enjoyed it. I don't think I'd read it again just because it's a heavy read and, and you know, I only care about reading about Walmart once. So there you go. Uh, Sam Walton, Made in America, My Story. I'm sure there are some great things that you'll be able to take away from it too.